Welcome to my channel and today we're gonna cook skewers or kebab with some uh, red bell peppers this is gonna be amazing I hope you stick around I hope you watch this video so you can cook outside you know in the summertime and we're gonna use beef tenderloin okay maybe around like two pounds it depends how many people you wanna invite to your house or how many family members you have i like to remove the you know the fat the skin the silver skin i don't need it uh, but make sure you use you know some type of soft and tender meat something that's not very hard because sometimes you can find you know like cheap and not good meat now we're gonna cut it this way in pieces almost the same size they don't have to be too thin or too thick like medium size would be okay you can prepare this dish using chicken only vegetables or pork it's up to you you decide one more time you cut the beef tenderloin this way okay once you cut it you're gonna marinate it you want to give it some flavor you can decide how many pieces you want to put into the you know the big toothpick and we're gonna place our meat in a bowl because we're gonna add some spices yeah you start adding sea salt you can add maybe like one tablespoon of it and lemon pepper i like using lemon pepper if you don't have it you can omit it if you want uh, garlic powder you have to include it in this recipe and as always you can marinate your meat any way you want okay i like to add uh lee and perry sauce like two big tablespoons of it and some vinegar you can add lime juice okay and I'm going to add this Sazon Goya. It is a powder made of anato and cilantro. And it just gives a nice color to the meat. And a little bit of oil. That's it. Now you're going to combine everything. And you want to let it sit. Or you want to let it rest for maybe one hour. You don't want to insert your toothpick in there right now. No, no, no. Just let it rest. Let it get some flavor, okay? Now, we're going to use only two vegetables. I'm going to use onions and red bell pepper. In the past, I used, you know, mushroom, green bell pepper. You can add broccoli. You can put anything that you want, like pineapple if you want. But we're just going to make it simple, okay? You remove the seeds from the bell pepper and the membrane and just cut it this way, okay? In like medium size pieces and that's it only two vegetables now you can prepare this any day of the week okay now we have some medium toothpick right here or I don't know how you call this you know a big stick of wood or bamboo now you insert one I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to do this at home I like to use a glove it's up to you if you don't want to use it and then after that, you insert one bell pepper. Then you add like one or two onions. And after that, you grab another piece of meat and you insert it. And you keep repeating the same process, okay? Very, very easy. Now, some people like to have the toothpick in water for maybe like overnight or two or three hours. I didn't do that. You can do that if you want. But because people do that, uh, they are afraid that the, you know, the, the wood is going to burn. And so it's up to you if you want to do it or not. You know, This is very easy, easy to make at home. Okay, we're almost finishing right here. And we have how many? eight yeah okay that's plenty and you're gonna use some 
you know, wood. These are these used to be avocado tree from my patio, and they dry. But you know, we're gonna reuse it, okay? Uh, instead of using, you know, the big uh, axe to cut this, I like to use this machine. It's very easy. It's faster, and you just cut it. And instead of using charcoal, we're gonna use wood. Any uh, type of wood that you can use, you know, it's gonna give a nice flavor to your meat. I'm gonna cut one more piece and show you how easy it is. Now you can always buy this in some stores, but if you have it in your backyard, so you don't, you save some money and just cut it. And presto, we are ready to cook outside. I like to use this. Uh, I think they are called like cylinder blocks. And I'm just gonna place the wood there. I'm gonna start the fire outside. It's gonna be smoky. You know, when you cook this way, it is so delicious. The only thing is that you have to prepare your fire maybe like two hours before you wanna put place your meat. But I'm gonna show you a trick right here so you don't have to wait that long. You're just gonna ignite the fire using this piece of uh, fire starter and just wait it is going to be delicious to cook this way now you can use uh, you know a, a gas stove if you want like a barbecue stove you can use charcoal you can put it in the oven but this time we're going to cook this way you know you save some money you are outside you're enjoying a beer you see I place another uh, two pieces of you know of stone of the cylinder blocks and I put the grill right here and it's kind of high so I'm gonna take advantage of the flame I don't have to wait for the flame to die out so I just place this I place the skewers on the grill and slowly they're gonna start getting a nice color nice flavor and in the meantime we have to wait for the fire to go out and then we're gonna lower the grill with all the meat but they're gonna start cooking slowly slowly this is a nice process that you can think take advantage of the flames while they're a little high okay okay so now we just have to wait for our meat to get brown to get a nice color you make sure you always keep an eye of it don't you know don't go anywhere because you can see like on the rear part on the back side the uh, the meat starting to cook faster than the other skewers so sometimes if some of them are gonna cook faster than the other one you can see the fire is almost dying but you know what I like to cook when I like to cook outside uh, especially instead of using charcoal or instead of using gas the wood gives a nice flavor and nice aromas to the meat and so this is something that you can always cook at home you know like uh, you don't have to wait for the 4th of July now we're gonna bring down our grill I'm gonna remove the two cylinder blocks and they're gonna cook faster so, like I said, I took advantage of the flames where they were very high, but since the flames are die or they're gone, now we're gonna just lower the grill and they're gonna cook maybe like in six or seven minutes. Yeah, you can eat this with some uh, like pico de gallo. We have that recipe over there. You can eat it with some rice and beans, a salad. Just make sure you flip them over. And you don't need a thermometer for this, you know, to check the doneness of the meat. You can always tell if they're cooked or not, since we're using a good type of meat. Uh, now, you see the stuff that I'm squeezing now? That's orange juice. I'm sorry, that is sour orange. It's not orange juice. And there I am, over there, cooking. Just make sure you don't sit too close to the fire all the time otherwise you're gonna you're gonna be like you know your face gonna be hot your body so you stay away you know just always get near when you wanna 
move them, flip them over, etc. And we already finished cooking the skewers. Something very easy. I hope you like this video. I hope you give it a try. You know, venture yourself cooking outside in your backyard using wood instead of uh, gas. And we'll see you next time. We ate it with sunrise and pico de gallo. Thank you for watching.